Welcome back to Live, Laugh, Love with Jen. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you are spending time maybe with family or loved ones and your head is in your phone and before you know it that time is over and you really do not know what you were talking about or what you did during that time and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about living in the present. And this is in collaboration with my good friend Jessica Myros here on YouTube. Um, there's several of us together and we, once a month, we choose a topic that we are focused on for that month and we share it with you guys. And it's a topic, it's something that we're doing to better ourselves and we all have different things that we're working on and we get together in that group and we support one another. So if you want to learn more about living in the present, stay tuned. me, pre-2020, I tended to live in the future instead of the present. I was constantly thinking about goals that I wanted to achieve, how I wanted to achieve those goals, and how great my life would be when I achieved those goals. So I was constantly living in the future and not enjoying the present. After 2020, after I got sick, I started to notice that I was living in more of the past. I was living before I got sick. I was thinking about things that I could do before I got sick and that started to bring on a little bit of depression and I noticed that I was not enjoying the gift that was the present. So this month I have started working on being present. Being present with my loved ones when we're together, being present just in nature and just being present in the moment in general. Because for me living in the future brings anxiety, Living in the past brings depression, but living in the present just helps you to enjoy that moment and to, and to enjoy the moment with the people that you love most. So here are some things, I wanna share with you some things that I'm working on, that I'm doing this month currently to help me to learn to live in the present and to shift my thinking from the future or to shift my thinking from the past and just to focus on the here and now. The first thing that I, I did, and I've actually done this for a while now, is I put my phone, my iPad, my computer, any technology device, I put that away. I tried to leave it up for 12 hours, usually through the night, and then not get it again until sometime the next morning. So like if I put my phone down at say 10 o'clock at night, I do not pick it up until 10 o'clock the next morning. Um, and I to put it on do not disturb. I just have a few people that it can go through. When I have meals with my family or friends, that kind of thing, I have started turning my phone off or putting it on silent and putting it away so that I'm not, so that I'm focused on a conversation we're having or I'm enjoying the meal that I'm eating and I'm not focused on thinking about other things around me. And social media can be a great outlet. Phones can be a great outlet. They can have a great use when we need them, but sometimes we just need to be present with the people that we love or present in that moment and getting on our phones or getting on our computers or getting on our iPads, it distracts us from what is really happening around us. So that's the first thing I do. And it's made it easier for me when I do 10 to 12 hours of not touching my phone or touching any of my electronics. It's made it easier for me during the day to put my phone away or to put my electronics away as well if I start to feel myself getting stressed or not focused in on the present. So that's the first thing that, the first tip that I would give you and the first thing that I started doing that's really helped me tremendously. Some other tips or tricks that I want to share with you about learning how to focus in on the moment is by using our senses, our sight, sound, smell, taste, sight, sound, smell, taste, texture. Um, and one way that I learned to start 
tune, fine tuning in on those five senses was to go outside and actually ground. And you can read a lot about grounding, but basically I would stand outside in my bare feet and I would focus on the sounds that I heard in nature, the feel of the grass on my feet, the noises that I heard, whether it was birds chirping, that kind of thing. I may have already said that, but I would focus on the smells. Maybe someone next door was barbecuing and I could smell that smell. Were there any tastes that I could taste? Um, so I focused on those kinds of things and it pulled me into the moment. That was also a great time for me to medicate, to medicate, to meditate and focus on what was going on at that time and to practice using staying in the moment techniques. Another thing to do instead of getting up and grabbing your cell phone or getting up and finding a way to immediately distract yourself, to live in the present, another way to do that is to get up and do a devotional, read your Bible, um, do artwork. I have an art journal that I work in that helps me to bring my feelings just kind of to art. I'm not very artistic, but it's nice just to have that journal to help me along the way. Another thing is just to read a book. Another thing is when you're spending time with family or friends and it's just your time with family or friends, turn off any distractions and just focus on spending time with them and loving them and appreciating them and enjoying that moment. Also, when I'm floating around in the pool, I don't have technology or anything with me. It's just me and I'm just listening to the sounds and I'm just focused in on what's happening right there in the present. I'm not thinking about things that maybe my health uh, two years ago, but I'm also not thinking about goals that I want to reach in the future. So I'm just focusing in and enjoying that present moment. So those are some things that work for me. Also, when I'm cleaning, I like to kind of zone out and just focus on, like if I'm folding clothes, just focus on the act of folding the clothes and not letting my mind think ahead or letting my mind go back to the past, but just thinking and being the here and the now. And that helps you so much when you are with other people to already have practiced being in that present. And it's so much easier to put your phone away or to put down whatever distraction you may have and focus on the ones that you love. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Please subscribe, comment, let me know any ways that you might use to keep your mind focused in the present and like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'm about ready to do my giveaway soon, so I can't wait. Thank you guys so much for watching again. And remember, take time to live, laugh, and love today. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.